Alright, so I've heard DSP talking about Final Fantasy VI, Helldivers 2, and Alone in the Dark the last couple of days. But he's also been talking about needing people to show up and support and essentially take care of him like he's a little baby. Now, these things don't mix together. Random fucking games that hardly anybody's been asking for, and I'm going to prove that to you here in a minute. But how is that supposed to bring in the money? It's almost like he's been talking to somebody behind the scenes, and they've already guaranteed to bankroll these random games. In fact, didn't he try to do a poll the other day, and when it didn't go the way he wanted, he blamed it on the trolls and said, fuck it, I'm not doing that. Seems very Shawn Michaels to me, but let's go ahead and listen to the first clip. The next game that I'm going to be trying out, as a direct result of all of your feedback, I will be playing Helldivers 2 because I want to see what all the hoopla is about. You guys keep bothering me about it and saying that I need to play it. And at this point, I've actually had enough that I want to check it out myself. Okay? I've seen a lot of it, and it looks good. But again, I'm not convinced that this is going to be good for my content. I feel like that kind of game is meant for someone who has an established team of friends or cohorts who are going to jump in and do team-based combat together and, and communicate. I don't think it's good for drop-in, drop-out gameplay, which is what I do. You know what I'm saying? But since you guys want it, I'm going to try it. And if it fails, it's not a huge deal, right? Isn't it only like $30 or something like that? That's what someone said. They said it's on PS5. It's like 30 bucks, So it's not a huge deal to try it. And if it doesn't work, big I mean, I just wasted 30 bucks on the Star Wars collection. So I might as well waste another 30 bucks at least on a game that's popular that people want to see me try, okay? <clears throat> Is it 40 bucks? Well, it's semantics, not a big deal, right? Um, so, I'm interested in, in seeing what this game is and if it's good because you guys have talked about it nonstop for two months. And you know, listen, I follow social media. Yeah, social media is always a buzz about Helldivers 2. There's memes, there's gameplay footage, there's talk. And I've watched some of the gameplay footage and the game looks good. In fact, the graphics are really good. I'm shocked that the game that was not made by a AAA studio looks that good. So these are some of the direct quotes from the clip. The next game I'm going to be trying out as a direct result of all your feedback is Helldivers 2. You guys keep bothering me about it and saying that I need to play it. So I'm interested because you guys have talked about it nonstop for two months. So I've obviously been missing something because people have literally been begging him to play this game according to him. He then says he's not sure about it because... It's a lot of team-based gameplay, and that doesn't really work with how he plays. I wonder why that is. I wonder why you don't have any friends you can call on for co-op gameplay. But if it fails, it's not a big deal. It's only a waste of 40 bucks. He says he just wasted 30 on the Battlefront collection. You sure do seem to waste money, Phil. Hopefully that's not how you live your everyday life. <laughs> hint, hint. But before we get into the pictures, let's go ahead and listen to the next clip. That will be what I'm going to be checking out next. So we're going to finish Alone in the Dark, and then we're going to jump into Helldivers 2 and see what it is. All right? If it does well, if people tune in and like it and want to see more of it, then I would consider doing more content with it. If I play it a couple times, and if, if it becomes another PAL world where we play it a few times and it really doesn't catch on after a few streams, that's okay. It's not a super expensive game, so I'm not too worried about it. But I feel like... Just out of curiosity's sake, enough people are going to show up to check it out because people have asked me for this for months, and everyone keeps leaving comments and everywhere, and they're like, you're missing the boat. Everyone wants it. Why do you, don't you give people what they want? Fine. Fine. If you would much rather see me try Helldivers 2 than continue on with another 60 to 80 hour RPG, then I'll give you what you want. We'll play Helldivers 2. I'm okay with that. Okay? Fair enough? I hope so, because again... I keep give, hearing this, uh, I keep hearing these things, these issues, you know what I'm saying? So I want to be sure that this is the, what people want and that this is going to work, all right? So I hope that you will uh, join me. So more of the same shit. Everyone wants it. There's a lot of comments for it. You're missing out big time if you don't play it. And I'm going to give you what you want. He also has to stress that he's only going to do it a couple of times and the regards better support it or else he's going to have to punish them. He didn't say that, but you know damn well that's what he was thinking. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not sure how this is supposed to bring money in because I've hardly seen anyone asking for it. But don't just take my word for it. 
Let's go over to one of the greatest inventions known to man, the DSP chat tracker. I searched up the term Helldivers 2 and I got a very robust 169 results. Remember, this isn't DSP saying it, this is the chat specifically. 169 results on four pages is not a lot. For comparison, I searched BG3, not even Baldur's Gate 3, and I got over 5,000 results. So where are all these fucking people that have been begging you and begging you to play this game? He turned his Twitter replies off, so it's not coming from there. You can comment if he follows you, but go look and see how many replies he gets on average. And they aren't coming from his daily uploads because he's literally begging people to leave comments because hardly anybody does, except that regard overpowered boom, who I'm currently looking into, wink, wink. But again, where's all these fucking requests to play the game? Now, before we answer that question, let's look at tonight's stream and let's see who actually showed up to support it. That's what I'll do. Sounds like a plan, right? Uh, I received a $100 tip. The Defender of Freedom is here. I just want to say I'm proud of you for getting in your comfort, out of your comfort zone and trying something new. I hope this goes well. Despite all the negativity, we've got your back. Well, thank you very much. What is it? Who was this person's name? The Defender of Freedom. With a $100 tip tonight for Helldivers 2. Thank you so much to the Defender of Freedom. That is amazing, obviously, right? The Defender of Freedom. Uh, now my leaderboard is going to be humongous. An extremely generous $100 tip from the Defender of Freedom. Wow, what are the odds? A brand new name for a brand new game just happens to show up and tip $100. So this is the point that I went over to the chat tracker and started searching. And when I found those 169 results, one name seemed to pop up over and over. And that person went by the Lucky Gremlin, who I already assumed was a three-letter bitch, but I hadn't done any real looking into it, so it was just more of, it's probably him, but who knows. But when I tell you the Lucky Gremlin kept popping up, I'm not exaggerating. I searched Helldivers 2 again, but this time I added the Lucky Gremlin to the search, and I still got 40 results. That means one-fourth of the total comments about that game came from one person. And that's assuming some of the other comments aren't sock accounts from the same person. So the number could be higher. Now, I was on Discord at the time, just telling a few people what I found. And literally minutes after I told people that the Defender of Freedom was the Lucky Gremlin, look who happened to show up to the stream and give 10 memberships. And who's infamous for creating sock accounts and gifting memberships? So it looks like Phil gets all this organic support. Again, you put two and two together. And if you think all that's just a coincidence, how about the name, The Defender of Freedom? And who do we know that likes to LARP as some fucking Navy SEAL, undercover, MI6? I guess that's another country, but who fucking cares? This is all make-believe anyway, so he can be anything he wants. And if that's not pathetic enough, guess who tipped $50 on the day stream for another one of those random games that apparently everyone has been begging Phil to play? Our good friend, Lisa Liu, who also happens to go by the name of The Three-Letter Bitch. And by the way, that's just two sock accounts from today, so it's very possible there were more tips from the same person. But this also made me think back to a couple of nights ago when Phil played Dragon's Dogma 2, and out of curiosity, I searched that game up on the chat tracker, and I got 167 results. Almost the same as Helldivers 2. But how many of those results do you think were from the Lucky Gremlin? Absolutely zero. And how much did DSP make when he played that game? seven dollars so when i tell you this is a king tut situation all over again and one person has control of phil's entire stream you can take that to the bank and by the way i encourage you to go look this stuff up yourself just in case you think i'm pulling this out of my ass let me know what you think in the comment section i'll talk to y'all on the next one let's fucking go man yeah i got no the truth is here's the truth i got tired of people making excuses because i i hate to say it Every time that I say RPG overload this year, too many RPGs. Oh no, it's you, it's your streaming schedule, it's this, it's that. I'm just tired of it. Because here's the truth. Last night I did a random stream of a whack-ass game and we had great attendance, great support, great everything. It's not me. Whenever I go out of my way and I try something different and we have a fun, wacky stream, everything goes fine. But what if I play an insanely long droning on RPG People fall the fuck asleep. So I'm tired of playing insanely long droning on RPGs at this point. I mean it. Like I know that the vast majority of major games that have been coming out 
have been long droning on RPGs, but I'm just tired of them. I want, I also want to do something different. I'm tired of this shit. I am. So I, I, I had enough. Like really last night was just evidence to me. And I'm like, I just got to do fun stuff again. Enough with these insanely droning on playthroughs that go nowhere. You know, I, I, I can't, I'm not going to sit here. Oh, two and a half hour stream. And we, we, we've completed 0.00005% of the story. Right. And killed 400 more generic monsters. Enough, enough is enough. So I'm, I'm drawing the line tonight. We're changing things. Okay. And I hope that you guys will be here for that. And we'll, we'll go, we'll, we'll give it a shot. All right. And we'll see what happens.